Yeah, how deep was it when you... 38 feet. Yes. 38 feet on that corner, 30 on the other corner, and 28 on the back. Yeah. Some trees in there. Four thousand, uh, four and a half thousand cubic tons of soil and smooth. I've got the engine there as well. I believe, I believe that it was treated when it came from America. Mm -hmm. So built in Florida. And, oh, this one was built in Florida in '44. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I would say it was treated to sea salt mm -hmm. when it left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we've treated it since it's in Crown and Crane Jar to stop it from rusting. Mm -hmm. So you can see uh, how bad it is. Yeah. yeah. This has took the pressure and we've um, multifab in Peterborough have remade new panels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, we can't put this on display because it'll just. Did, Disintegrate. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Tracks are in very good condition, aren't they? Uh, brand new, they are. Ah. Brand new from. That's, that would uh, explain that then. Left on the shelf from the wall. Really? It's amazing what's in Holland, isn't it? Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. Is, there, is there any way of getting a, a reconditioned engine for it? We've got one. You have yeah. got one. Mm. And we've got it running. Have you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, the original engine down that side. Yeah, I did, I did just get a quick glimpse of it. Um, we found the, the gun shield first. So the gun shield lays in the in the back of the that one there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's made by the Traction Company, and the Traction Company was taken over by Cashler in 1953. Right. And Spalding, I believe, was the third dealership in the country. Right. So um, it brings it in a roundabout circle. Yeah. 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 Machine climb in. Go. Fifty cow sitting on there. Look at uh, that, that's a wooden one. Ah. Uh. That's our mock up for this. So this is our wooden buffalo. This is our demo buffalo. Oh right. Because this is too big to go up the road. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've put the guns on there because it's easier to explain what Yes. Uh, yeah, what yeah. 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 I mean, how far in the water would it have sat when it was obviously out on a, you know, as a landing craft? Oh, about up to the top of the um, armour plate in there. Right. So that is, that is there. Uh, okay. Yeah. And there's a there's a mark on the back door that in, indicates the level of the water. Right. The right. It's in remarkably good condition, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It really is. It really is, isn't it? And the rubber seal, if you can squeeze that lot and push it, uh, that's original. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. Cables yeah. are all original. It's lasted well, isn't it? I can believe it. Yeah. The rear light's original. Yeah. It's not both so frames, it's not tied up, has it? And these, these brass, like solid brass. Yeah. Absolutely. So they're for the anchor points for holding the door shut. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You, you can see, uh, if I lift this up, you'll see the damage of the hole. Oh, yeah. Up, so. Oh, yeah. so we'll end, we'll end up replacing the whole floor, I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 But there's a, uh, you can see there's a track here between there and there. There's an indentation. Yeah. Okay. Now that's indentation off a Brengan carrier. Okay. So you used to have a Brendan carrier in here, yeah. Willis Jeep in here, and trips yeah. in here. Yeah. Well, if you look at each canopy uh, below the passageway, it's all dinted in, it's all caved in. Yeah. So yeah. We believe the Brendan carriers hit the back. Gone into the yeah. back. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Isn't it? Well, about 26 normally, about 25, 26, but the yeah. veteran said he had about 40 on board at one time. Wow. That'd be really? Yeah. Where was he dropping them off? At the Rhine. Right. Crossing the Rhine, yeah. And that these were used throughout Holland, the Rhine, but they were mainly built for the 
um, island hopping in the Pacific. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's where I first saw them or was aware of them. <coughs> yeah, th this one uh, was um, built for the US Navy. Was it? Mm -hmm. right. Wow. So engine wise, uh, radial, same as the Sherman? Seven cylinder radial, so the same as the Stewart and the same as the Boeing steaming aircraft. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's going to take a bit of work to get it to the point where you a restoration. Is there. Well, I'll say that, but I mean, depends on, on what sort of restoration you're sort of planning on doing, I suppose. Isn't it? Yeah, it is really. Um, <coughs> at the moment, it's a mobile exhibit, really. Mm. Yeah. We take it to our local event and put it on just. The, um, the build pump puts in there, uh, it's got Los Angeles written on it, so that was made in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, the gyro system was made in New York, so it's printed on the brass plaque. The outer ballast tanks on either side were made in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and they're it's painted on there still. Yeah. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, he's an that, should, that shouldn't survive. No, 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 no. no. Well, none of this should. You, it should be on climbing no, over it. No. no. I can't believe we are. Be and then on the corner of this um, armor plating, there's a round um, circle with US and an anchor. Right. So if you look down that yep. side, you'll yep. see the US anchor mark, and that's right. the stamp of approval. Oh, right. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Should be just down this side of this armour plating, though. Ah, yes, got yeah. it. Yeah, sorry, see it, yeah. And that's printed on all the panelling. <laughs> oh, no. Even the brass uh, part of the bilge pump that's in the... That's printed on everything, isn't it? In the, yeah. Under the floorboard, that's printed on... And that's... That's the way in, so you'll climb in over there, yeah. there's a yeah. through there. Yeah. Yeah. Then you'll have to cover this side, yeah. to block the noise, mm. and then we'd have a pulse. It's brilliant, isn't it? So it's amazing how well it's stood up to the test, isn't it? I think we're standing on it after all them years of being buried. If you look at all yeah. the images across Holland and everything, there's only a selected few with pulse and cannon on. And we've got the mount that sits here, so the pulse of cannon would look out yeah. over the top, 20 millimetre. And then you've got your 30s and your 50s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing condition, it really is, isn't it? The tyres on the front, they came up with it as well. Oh, did they? Yeah, they were on it. We've not touched them yet, so. Mm. Mm. And the shackle. Yeah, yeah. Is, is there any in the UK that are actually restored and running? Non-running. Uh, they're not. They're non-running. Non-running now. There's one restored, right? And that's in Bovington Tank Museum. Right. But it's only restored external. Right. So just. They, basically... They've not touched the cockpit. Right. So we might have seen that when we. Well, were I'm going to say it was at Bovington we... oh, yeah. three or four years ago, but um, yeah. The last running one in the UK was in 2018. Mm. Right. And uh, the bloke sold it because it was such a pain to move maneuver around the country. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people don't understand when you say it's a big. Yeah. They think it's the same size as the Sherman. Now, yeah. if you look at photographs now where the Buffalo is in Bovington, the Sherman is a lot narrower yeah. than yeah. the Buffalo. Yeah. 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 This is 10 foot 8 wide. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's mm. a fair, fair old width, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Standing about 8 foot tall when it's off, on the ground. Mm. Yeah. 26 foot long. That's a lot to manoeuvre about, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It is, it is you quite... Said, you uh, said your dad manoeuvred these. It was my um, granddad had helped to bury them uh, back in the day. Yeah. Uh, 47, was it? 47, yeah. Yeah, he, and obviously, and that's only going off what my mum said, you know. So was, as we would have driven along Crowell and Bank and saying, oh, there's a load of tanks underneath there, because that's yeah, just yeah. a generalisation. Good old myth, wasn't it? Yeah. Good old myth, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, um, and what you say? And, and when we were digging for it, um, some dog walkers said, "Oh, you're wasting people's time. There's nothing down there." And they said, oh, if, really? you, "If you're looking for something, it's a bulldozer or a ten RV drag line." Right. And I said, "No, no, no, no." So I said, "It's a buffalo ram for." I said, "They don't have these gun shields on ten RVs or, or no. caterpillars." I no, said, no. It's, "It's a buffalo." Mm. Anyway, yeah. 
they come back later and they said, oh, what did you find then? I said, well, if you come back in the morning, you'll see. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, so, just, um, we're just pumping out and they turned up and they look in the hole. Yeah. That's a buffalo. Yeah. I said, yeah. Mm. Never to see it, be seen from them again. Oh, you're right. No. Mm. So I think I've upset a few people in Crone and <laughs> proven the myth is right. Yeah. 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 For you. But was it, sorry, was it full of water? Full of was clay. It? Clay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the whole the whole place was full of clay. Mm. Yeah. The engine so, bay was full of clay because one of the hatches, um, this hatch here was open. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. I think it's that one. Um, and uh, the dome was all broken and everything, so it filled with clay. And when we we're digging the clay out, of course, it filled back up with water again overnight. Yeah. yeah. But we couldn't do much about no. that. No. Um, no. But we had to hand bore the clay out of there because mm. we didn't know what we were going into. No. no. Mm. Uh, so it was all done by hand. And then uh, this bit, the, the, the uh, 360 digger from the drainage board, they'd drop it just a bit. So you've got to scoop it out. From scoop the it out. Yeah. We could feel under the floor. We could not under the panel. Like these panels here, yeah. right, were laying flat. Okay. And as we kept walking, we'd fill these panels, yeah. and they'd left everything on board, but yeah. laid it in the bottom to, to act as weight. Oh, right. right. No, no, I, better, I, yeah. oh, I believe that that was laying in the bottom of another one right. to act as weight. Right. So there's no photographs of these actually on the buffaloes in 1947. Oh, weren't they? Right. So that was a lucky find. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, definitely. There's yeah. another one like that, I think, in 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 America, and that's on an LVT, uh, an updated LVT four. But that's probably the only two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you look in that far corner down there, you see a bit of rusty metal by the you know, yes. that plate. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's the Polston cannon mount on the engine bay. Okay, so, right. So you'd have a twenty millimeter cannon. Here, yeah, pointing out. Mm. Right. Yeah, it's quite well armed, then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But it's an amphibian tractor, not a tank. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I suppose. But they actually made, um, they used the basics of the LVT4, and they turned it into a tank. So he actually had a tank. Okay. Had a tank. But it had a massive great turret in the middle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, you can, if, if, if. Yes, the back door, that place, and that one here, yeah. penetrated through, that one has penetrated through as well. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah, if you follow that all the way up, that one is at the top, uh, it goes to the top. These, all these spent. Fan, yeah, know. that is amazing. Like you say, this is involved in the crossing of the Rhine. Yeah, crossing the Rhine.